Check out our new refrigeration special. It's supreme. Back before the big box stores sold all the consumer goods and the lumber yards and everything else like it is now, you had stores like Firestone, Western Auto, Montgomery Wards. They had all the stuff you see listed here and more. This catalog's a really cool piece. Got the toys. Old 57 Chevy drag car there and submarines and ships and tanks. Toy horses. Rubber baby buggies. Science sets. Sporting goods. Bicycles are pretty cool. And home appliances. Major appliances. So it brings us to this guy right here Firestone refrigerator. Cool old relic of its time. Pretty neat old green and white colors really play nice together. From a design perspective, it's a pretty neat piece. Really cool old rig. Smells like 1952 in there. The good old rubber smell. Ice cube trays are missing, but that's all right. Cool old unit. I was able to get a hold of all these at a swap meet. Great old advertising. Oh yeah, they also sold tires too. This guy here. Sold paints, I've got a little can of Firestone paint, sample colors there. I believe they sold lawnmower too. I think there's a picture of that and that other catalog. I'm surprised there wasn't a picture of it in the. <laughs> there you see it. Firestone Fair Lawn. So I got a little distracted with other household goods there for a minute. We'll get back on refrigeration here. This is a Nash Kelvinator. It was a product of Nash Motor Company. So they didn't build just cars. You can see more of the place where I found this in one of my old videos way back. It was an old auto repair shop. There was an abandoned house there. 
And that was a really, really cool place to go poke around and explore and find stuff. And this old Kelvinator was one relic that I saved out of there, brought home. If you're wondering what the noise is outside there, that's the uh, cicadas. Don't know what a cicada is. It's a small portable device that converts tree sap into ambient noise. Gonna take a quick moment here to remind you that if your fridge is looking a little dull, cleaner polish, have it looking like brand new again. Got the International Harvester refrigerator here. That she's built in 1953. They didn't just make trucks and tractors and farm equipment. Got the cool old gold V badge, a little weathered. Got your International Harvester in the handle. Open her up. Neat old piece of the period, relic of its time. Not in bad shape. You can tell somebody did leave that freezer door open and it crashed through the <laughs> inner liner. Duct tape fixes everything. Egg slots in the door, butter compartment. What more could you want? Open her up. Got the period accessory freezer boxes with little baggies unused of course never folded NOS just another cool relic of their time Irma Harding approved it she said they were good so I'm not going to argue with her I saved this one from an old truck salvage. It was in the box of a truck, old box van, and guys at the salvage thought I was crazy. <laughs> Preserving an old junk appliance in their minds. We got the old General Motors Frigidaire. And just build Pontiacs, Buicks, Oldsmobiles and Chevrolets. Pretty plain old tombstone style fridge. Open her up. Little crust. Ice cube trays have gone AWOL. Probably have some around somewhere. Stick back in there. This guy was used for storing old newspapers. Find that some of the farms. Uh, old fridge is a rodent proof storage vault. So there you have them. So back in the day, another option for refrigerators was the gas refrigerator which pretty simple principle had your heated liquid fluid that expanded and then condensed and as it went through that process it removed the heat out of the refrigerator compartment i'm not really sure why these went away they were really before my time so if anybody remembers them or has experience with them comment down below and kind of fill us in seems like really a pretty simple system you don't have the 
pressurized system with the compressor and all the problems with trying to keep them sealed up as they age. Electric refrigerator, pretty simple principles, operates basically the same way that a car's air conditioner system works. Maybe too the gas refrigerator could have been a regional thing if gas was plentiful and electricity was not. I really have no idea, so comment below if you know. Thanks for watching. People accessorize antique cars and trucks. Why not accessorize an antique refrigerator?